Hey guys, this is Second Gen 1. As you can see right now, I'm using Samsung Galaxy S7 AT&T variant. And you can see here the model number is GSMG93A. And you can see the Android version is 7.0. Now, it was on Marshmallow 6.0.1. And I was not able to update it because I bought this phone online and not from AT&T. So I was not being able to update the phone from the settings. Now what you have to do is, is you click on settings and then click on lock and security and then from here make sure that you click on find my device and uncheck these two options. Now go back and then scroll down click on other security and then from here what you have to do is, is you click on device administrator and uncheck this or any of the following apps. Now once that is done just go back. Now before we start just go to about device then click on build number seven times until you see developer has been enabled now you should find a new option called developer options make sure you're enabled and click on oem unlock if available if it's not there then it will be default enabled and also make sure that you enable usb debugging and that's basically it and now what you have to do is, is to make sure your phone is at least 50 percent in order to make this tutorial work so now what you have to do is, is to hold volume down button, home button and power button simultaneously until you see warning screen. Now click on volume up button to go to download mode. So the first step is to download these two files which is going to be on the description. One of them is going to be the stock ROM. Make sure that this one matches your model number. So as you can see right now, it's G930. So that one matches my model number. And this one is Odin. So once you have downloaded, just right click and press extract here. After you have extracted, make sure you have these five files plus Odin. Now launch Odin and then right click and run as administrator. Now from here on what you have to do is, is to first click on pit tab, press OK, and then press tip tab again and then locate your pit file, press open. Now go back to log and then press on BL and locate the first name the file name with BL initials. Now click on AP and then press on EP. This will take just two to five minutes depending on your hard drive. If it's SSD, it should take less than three minutes. Click on CP and then look at CP, TSC, just like that. Now from your device make sure it is on download mode and connect your phone using a USB cable. Now you should see the blue bar here. If not then make sure you install Samsung drivers which is going to be on the description and restart your computer. Now once that is done. Just click on start and leave your phone alone. It may take five to 10 minutes.
So it shows as pass. Now what you can do is suppress exit button and then you can leave your computer alone. Now let us focus on the device itself. So once you are here, don't start because what we have to do is we have to wipe the entire system to make sure that you have the optimal performance for your Samsung Galaxy S7 or any devices you're doing on this tutorial. So switch off your device just like that. Now hold volume up button, home button and power button simultaneously until you see So once you reach on the screen, just go down and click on Wide Data Factory Reset. Press yes. Now also wipe cache of the partition. Now once that is done, simply reboot the system.